Hey everybody, it's Gamalad. Welcome back to Let's Play 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD. In the last episode, we took down the High Dragon Nyla. And in this episode, we were just told to basically go take a rest and fight and wait our next orders. So we're gonna do exactly that. Oh, we got some gifts here. There's some kind of cold, uh, some kind of cold going around. Uh, eat this and stay healthy, Mio. Oh, you obtained one handmade bento from Mio. All right, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get some rest and see what lies ahead of us as um, as we go forward. Professor Nagu Nagumo. It's been 12 years since I saw you last, Yoritomo. I'd heard you left the, you left the carrier, but to think you, you left the Dragon Gene Research Division as well. It was surprising to hear. I don't think the special tactical force really suits you. Hmm. It's fine. Ah, uh, you, you have you met Mio yet? So that's so that was your doing. <laughs> don't misunderstand. I didn't have anything to do with that. She's as smart as her mother was. You'll need to be careful if you want, don't want her to find out. Hmm. Anyway, Commander Akatsu, you've taken on quite a lot, a bit of power. I needed a reasonable level of authority in order to pr properly maintain peace. So you brought me here to help develop the Dragon Sickness Serum, correct? Not quite. I shall take you to the Dragon Sickness Lab at a later date. I figured you'd be interested in, in first seeing the fruits born of your, to the seed you, 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 you yourself planted. It can't be. Do you tamper with him? After you left the Fuji Lab, we developed a more complete model. Th that, is that is what you, you will see now. Analysis of the specimen type NYL is now complete. Very well, begin the installation. This is the data of the Sir True Dragon Nyla. Where did you get your hands on this? No, stop this! Yuma will surely die if you inject that into his body. Professor Nagumo. Have you lost your mind, Yoritomo? Yuma is your pupil! This is what Yuma desires. What he desires? That's probably just something you guys brainwash him to think. I'm fine, Professor Nagumo. I'm not as fragile as you may think. Yuma. Anyway, I, I realize. It is pointless to have only partial power. What I need is the power to overwhelm all of my enemies. Why is he, why is he like this, Akutsu? Have you? What have you done to Yuma? I have done nothing but fulfill his desires. Yuma wishes to be as strong as possible. You should know. You created him, after all. All we did was install data from the two true dragons. And now we have added a Surd to the genetic masterpiece that you developed. A Surd? What in the world? With his body combined with the data from multiple true dragons, Yuma is undoubtedly the strongest weapon on the planet. How exciting. Someday he'll be able to be able to... Yeah, he's the one to surpass the true dragons and transcend humanity. Hmm. Humans are the sole rulers of the planet. Dragonkin does not enter into that equation. With our perfect human Yuma, we will be we will expel the seventh true dragon. Okay, intermission, chapter three point six, calling unit thirteen. Okay, it's a nice intermission chapter to get some get a nice break in between stuff here. Hey, unit 13, time to get up. Uh, well, like five more minutes, please. Are you awake now? This is Allie speaking. Would you please come meet me in the conference floor? Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, cool. Construction is now available of the Sky Lounge Level 2. Ooh, we'll have to look into that later. So for now, let us head out of here and go see what Allie wants from us. So, to the conference floor is away we go. All right. So yeah, this is basically an intermission chapter between all the action. We're gonna see what we can do now while we wait for the next mission. Jusenpa. Morning, Unit 13. Sorry to bother you when you're clearly so tired. Mm-hmm. Julieta finally managed to find her next target. He's setting up the portal as we speak. The third True Dragon Nihilus specimen that you guys brought back really helped the development process. It's been quite a long time since I've seen, seen him this excited about something. Meanwhile, Nagamini is very busy at the pro post-processing for the Atlantis Evacuation Plan. 
Therefore, ta-da! Here I present Unit 13 for special vacation. Yay! You can do whatever you want until we tell you things are ready. Uh, does anyone need help? <laughs> I love how concerned you are about the other people. Right now, the quest counter could probably use your assistance. I heard things have gotten really busy over there. They apparently haven't been able to been able to sleep. All right, I should get back to work as well. Oh, oh, okay. You're gravely mistaken if you think I'm all play and no work. The president must work efficiently when her employees aren't watching. All right. Bye bye, Unit 13. Have a nice break. Not really a break if we're simply doing quests the entire time. But hey, yes, this is a mandatory break. The only way to actually get beyond this break is to do certain quests, which we're about to find out right now. I can't take this. I reached my limit a long time ago. My heart is already in pieces. It cannot be broken any further. You can do it. I'm going to keep work, 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 working as, as hard as I can. Work hard, Chica. Rika, don't tell me to work hard. I'm already working as hard as I can. A successful person once said, when things only get harder, when people tell you to work hard. A successful person also said, anything is possible. Things only seem impossible because people quit. Uh, that person is an idiot. By law, workers are supposed to give them breaks every so often. The law may say so, but our company doesn't. Anyway, I love this. Who needs sleep anyway? <sighs> this company is evil. Do something. Oh, Unit 13. Huh? You guys look so bored. What's going on? Um, anything I can help with? You want to help us for free? <laughs> Way to go, Unit 13. You guys are great workers. You still want to work even on your break. My salary thief of a sister, Chica, should learn from you guys. Oh. Your inconsiderate words have ate up my mind. Ah, I can see it now. The enhanced the entrance to the medical clinic, the white jackets, the medicine. Let's ignore Chica for now. Let's see what we can have, have you do. What about rounding up 100 feathers for some monsters? They're, they're, uh, there are probably 50 quests like that. Do you want Unit 13 to die? I will not allow that. In that case, I guess I can leave it to you, Chica. Huh? Wait, what? Mm, it looks like there are three quests that, that have asked specifically for Unit 13. Could you handle those? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, there's a start next to the ones we need you to do. We'll be counting on you. Alright, well, let's see what these quests are. So let's see, we have three different quests here. Training requests, Yelena se uh, seems down, and let's go out. These three quests need to be, need to be done before we can go pro uh, progress further in the game. Um, some more of these quests I'll probably do on a later date, like, you know, the bug check assistance, and let's study the present and finding a tropical fish. But for now, let's do, let's do the first one of Let's Go Out. Alright, cool, meet Mio in the main plaza. This one is from Neo Nagumu. It reads, Hmm, <laughs> want, want to hang out today? Wait, is this just her asking out on a date? What's with all the giggling? Uh, she filled the, it was the request department, so I guess it's part of your job. Anyway, the client will be waiting in the main plaza. Don't stand her up. Alright, so let's head on out and see what Mio wants us to do. To the main plaza we go. Alright, and she's all the way down there and thinking in front of the uh, fountain-like thing, or not fountain, whatever this thing actually is. It's kind of weird. <laughs> oh, Gamma! You, you came! Sorry for asking you out when you're so busy. I'm glad you invited me. Me too, I'm really happy you decided to come. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, this is a little awkward. I'm kind of embarrassed. Anyway, let's let's go. But I don't really know. So, but there's so many fun places around here. Sorry, I'm fine. Um, Gamma, is there anywhere you recommend? Um, anywhere with you is perfect, Mio. <laughs> Stop that. You're making me all dizzy. Sorry, I'm just feeling a bit out of it. With our game that strong, you mustn't move her. She's unconscious. Do you notice anything strange about the girl? Did she mention any symptoms to you? Um, she was coughing a lot today. Mm. Coughing. Unit thirteen. This girl is surely infected with dragon sickness. I will carry her to the medical floor. You go ahead and tell them. Tell them I'm coming. All right. We'll do exactly that. 
of that, the treatment for Seekers is complete. It would be best if I tell you as plainly as possible. It's just as Mr. Yoritomo says, this girl has dragon sickness. I thought so. I see, yet you still treated her as a normal girl. I'm sure that brought her great joy. It can be difficult to act as though nothing is wrong when a, when a friend has dragon sickness. To tell you the truth, there has been an increase in the dragon sickness patients recently. This girl was suppressing her symptoms with medicine, but she has taken a turn for the worse. She must be quite fatigued. She tried very hard to help out with her navigation skills. Can there be no hope for a full recovery? There is no cure for dragon sickness. I, I assume the ISDF Admiral would know that. Luckily, your symptoms are still minor. We will be able to suppress them, at least for now. However, if you wish for her to be truly cured, you must destroy the source of the, of the disease. The source. Dragon mi Miasma. If we manage to defeat sev the seventh true dragon... Oh, I... I see, I fainted. So you found out about my dragon sickness, too. I'm sorry, I wanted to make today fun, but I messed up again. I don't worry about it. How do you feel? Um, I feel fine. There is no need to lie, you surely must feel, feel the miasma coursing through your veins. You're right, I felt it for almost five years, and my grandpa has always treated me. Your grandfather? Is he involved in the medical practice? Yes, he's a, he's a doctor, his name is um, Mikio Na Nagumo. Mikio Nagumo? Is this is the same Professor Nagumo from ISDF, the life science lab on Mount Fuji? I'm pretty sure he quit a while ago, but yeah. So you're Professor Nagumo's. This is a thought did it cross my mind. Nagumo is a rare name after all. Alright, um please just check on Mio. Oops, my apologies, I let myself become too excited. However, Professor Nagumo is an amazing scientist. He sparked a revolution in life science. Anyone who has ever had a minor amount of experience in the field reserves him as, as a god. I I did hear he quit ISDF. I wonder if he's still working somewhere. Uh, sorry about that. We need to focus on the girl. All right. For now, we need someone to come get her. If if it's N Professor Nagumo, we have we have no need to worry. Um, to be honest, I'm living by myself right now. I usually live with my grandpa, but he's out of town on business trip on a business trip right now. It's okay. I can do it myself. You, you imbecile. You mustn't push yourself. I, I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't mean to pry, but where are you about your parents? My mother and father are gone. I don't have anyone but my grandpa. I see. You should remain in the hospital until Professor Nagumo returns from his trip. No, I'm really okay now. My grandpa told me to cause, not to cause people too much trouble. Alright, hey, listen. You're important to us. That's right. So how about it, Gamma and Sis? But... I believe the professor is at ISDF HQ. I'll contact him. That should solve our problems. Okay, in that case, um, thank you. Um, Mr. Yoritomo? Why are you being so nice to someone like me? The sole purpose of my existence is to ensure the safety of our citizens. Furthermore, you mustn't be so self-deprecating. Uh, Try to be more confident. Hmm. Well then, let me begin preparing, preparing for your hospitalization. I'm sorry, um, this might sound a bit strange, but I have a pet cat at home. If I'm not home to take care of him, he might... Ah, I see. This is a problem. However, it would be irresponsible of me to let, 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 to let you leave. Gamma, could you go inform Miss Alley of the situation? I'm sorry, Gamma. I'm really sorry things turned out like this. Hey, listen. We'll beat this sickness together, or we can have another date later. Hey, don't talk about that in front of the doctor. Ah, uh, how good it must feel to be young and in love. Well, uh, well, leave it to the rest of us. Please report to Miss Alley in this situation as soon as possible. All right, so we're gonna go see Miss Alley and report to. Oh wait, wait, wait! To the shield over there. I guess we can actually finish the quest by talking to her now. I'm not entirely sure. Sorry for making you do to, for do this. I'm kind of okay. Let me, okay, that's fine. Let's go back to the to the conference floor and talk to. Um, the owner herself, Ali, and see what we can do about, about the cat problem we have. Or the lack of cat problem thereof. <sighs> I'm so tired. Two nights straight of working really does number on your liver at my age. Were you drinking while you were working? Your liver, hmm? I suppose it can't be helped. I'll massage it, I'll massage it for you. No, stop it. I'll explode if you try and massage it with that brutish strength of yours. <laughs> Don't be so shy. I'm not! 
Julieta scares me for so many reasons. Ah! Good timing, Unit 13! Oh my, why do you all look so serious? What's wrong? We need a place for cats. That's pretty much it. I see, Mio's... Okay, okay. Mio's an important teammate. She can stay here as long as she needs to while she recovers. What about the cat? Ah, right, I'll get someone to bring it, bring it here later. Wait, you're going to keep it here? <laughs> it's time for a special alley suggestion. I'm afraid to know. What's this suggestion of yours? We'll open a cat cafe. A cat cafe? Surely you can't think of putting such a ridiculous facility in here. I most definitely am, and I'm sure people like cats more than other our little Miss Mia. You can't! A thousand times no! If there is one of those places in this building... If you don't like it, you don't have to go! But, 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 but... Um... Do you, but cats are so cute! I know! That's why... If we have a cat in the building, their fluffy fur will just be too exciting! Hello! Earth Julieta! Ah, uh, uh, see, I was only thinking about it, and that's enough to distract me. I can't handle it! <laughs> you just don't get it, do you, Julieta? Seeing that reaction out of you makes me want to build this cat cafe even more! You demon! What's wrong? It's important to have a place to relax from work. Anyways, now, now that's all settled, Unit 13. It's up to you to gather the necessary DZ for our cat cafe. Oh, and you'll need to find some lost cats to populate it. Oh boy. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna cat hunt to populate a, a cat cafe. Well, let's continue on and see what else we can do here. I just heard back from HQ. Professor Nagumo is participating in an important ISDF project. He won't be home for quite some time. How is Mio doing? Oh, she's doing very well. We're about to get some cats. I see, she's going to be hospitalized here. Alright, you know, you're very kind, Yoritomo. That's quite bold of you. By the way, I heard you were searching for lost cats. Yeah, we are. I believe I saw four of them on my way to my most recent mission on the Tokyo Underground. They were most likely left there by owners who could no longer take care of them. How horrible. Hmm. I suppose I'm not the only one. I'm not wanting to talk. Goodbye for now, Unit 13. Okay, well, that's fine. First off, we need to build our cat cafe. So, Chica! Uh, oh, we can't build it yet. We have to actually go get the cats for us to populate it. Okay, that's fine. We'll build those other two places later. So let's head to the world map and head out to the Tokyo Underground. No dragons are there, but... Why did I mention about the Seaburg Palace? Oh, I guess it was saying all dragons were cleared there. Anyway, let's continue to the Tokyo Underground and see what else is left for us. Man, why do I gotta be part of this stupid cat hunt? And a cat cafe really this is pointless. Why not shove some loose ear in there too? Then we can make it a, a cat ear cafe. That's not such a bad idea, actually. I may, I may like that. Don't look so excited about that. Quit it with the, the, the daydreams. Just hurry up and finish this crap. I'm sleepy. Take a look at your map. The SOS signal's be, um, be, um, being strengthened so, so yeah, so you can see cats out there too. It's just like you already told me said. It's there are four cats in total. So hurry up and grab them. All right, so we're on a we're on a cat hunt. Go figure. But so we don't get involved in the too many um, random encounters. Well, I'll, I'll show one random encounter off in this in this dungeon. Oh, an ingredient set. Not sure how healthy it's gonna be um, in the sewers, but that's re uh, regardless. Let's go here and uh, where's the cat at? I oh okay. Oh well, here's a random encounter. I thought I'd show off what's lying around down here. Okay, so we've got two clouds. And we've got a um, a plant-like thing holding a holding two pipes. Yeah, because th this this all makes perfect sense. Okay, this is fine. This I think these enemies are pretty weak compared to us, so we should be able to take them out without any real problem. Well, let's see, his aiming shot. Okay, or not? I was mistaken. It only took half HP off. Oh, this could finish it off. Or nope, it didn't. Okay, using his smog. There are some there are some interesting characters here. Um, like, there's actually one giant, I think it's like a robot you can actually run into down here, which is pretty cool, actually. But anyway, okay, hopefully, I hope these can't miss, good. Alright, so I'm glad the counters can't miss, at least, well, they probably can, we haven't seen anything of it yet. But anyway, um, like I was saying, what was I saying? Oh my goodness, I completely lost track of what I was saying. Oh yeah, about a giant robot. You can fight giant robots down here. 
However, I don't feel like I, I want to actually go through so many random fights until I find one. Oh, hello, kitty. Alright, pre uh, pretty white cat has been rescued. Nice. Okay, so there's two, different, oh, there's two other things around here as well. Um, this is one of those times you want to pay, pay more attention to the bottom screen to know where all the um, gaps are in the walkways so you can see where you're going properly. Um, okay, is there a cat? Oh, no, there's a person. Oh, is this a rescue? How oh, great, I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay, oh boy. Okay, vacant city has been rescued. Alright, now get out of here. You shouldn't be down here. This place is dangerous by the looks of it. Oh, wow, I actually have to have to go around over here because it seems like... Oh, Yep, there's, a, there's one cat all the way back here. Or it could be a cat. Yep, it's a cat. But before we get to the cat, we get into another random battle. And it's the same thing we just saw before. So we're just going to run out of here. We're going to withdraw and escape. I'm so glad I have the withdraw skill because it's just an instant escape, and except for boss battles, which is which comes in handy quite a lot. Alright. Alright, cool. So you got two cats rescued. Oh, rare calico, though. That's cool. Calico cats are really cute. All right, let me go ahead and just throw up a, um, an optical camouflage here, so you don't have to worry about too much about any monsters. Um, this won't be, this won't be the last time we'll be down in the Tokyo Underground, so don't worry about, you know, not seeing any other monsters down here. They're not really too special. They're just like, they're like different variants from the ones you've seen in Atlantis. Just kind of weird how those monsters still exist here. Okay, only one thing is down here, and it seems like it's up on this, um, rail thing up here. Oh, what's up? The, what the devil? What's that cat doing? Okay, um... How do I get up on this thing? I probably passed a ladder or something over here. Yes, I did. Okay, cool. Treasure, what's in here? Smoke grenades, awesome. Alright, so Kitty, what are you doing up here? Yeah, what a dumb animal. There's no way it's gonna beat that monster. Hey, get into your team. Go save that cat before you turn into that thing's dinner. Okay, here we go. But, um, that, that was one courageous tabby. Reminds me of my cat Dusty, and we're fighting the Bernstein Bears. Um, fantastic. Or the Bernstein Bears, whatever the, whatever they're called. I grew up when they were called the Bernstein Bears, and that's what I'm going to call them here. Um, let's look for another hack again, to hack all of them. And let's go ahead and perform... Hmm... Uh, let's, let's go just do, do the ambush dance. Probably should have healed Nami up beforehand, but that's fine. So, one tiny little kitten tried to take on three bears. Oh, boy. Well, Goldilocks has got nothing on this little kitten. Alright, so these guys are, 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 seem, seem to be pretty um, lenient pushovers, it looks a bit. Alright, so, using using Shred. Okay, they're going to do a decent amount of damage, but a punch to the gut for you for attacking a, a lovely lady like Nami. And another punch to the gut for you as well! Will that finish him off? Okay, so he's taken care of. Lazy Bear is gone. Alright, so let's go ahead and use a Maple Tear on this guy. Use a Mad Strat to make them attack each other. And, um... Go ahead for the jab on this one as well. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna do more damage, but alright. They'll, they'll end up finishing, finishing themselves off, no doubt. Alright, the Maple Tear will do some, will do some damage here. Okay, cool. That lazy bear is dead. Okay, other last lazy bear. Please, by all means, finish yourself off. No. Okay, you know what? Auto everyone. This will finish him off easily. Yep, there we go. Lazy bear is gone. We got supreme bear meat. That could be cool to cook. All right. So we also got a nice amount of experience from like fighting a dragon almost. Aw. Courageous cat Tabby has been rescued. I think it's only been three cats. I think. Yeah, the game would have told us if we had rescued all four of them. So let's keep moving forward and see if we can find the last cat. Hopefully, you won't be getting into any fights like that one was. Okay, so we have three things you need rescued here, but it doesn't mean they're all cats, unfortunately. Well, hey, if there's anyone who's lost down here, it's probably for the best that we get them out of here, get them to safety. Oh, hello, my friend. Oh, sup? Oh, you, you want to help me? How friggin' lucky am I? <laughs> These dragons are like uh, like uh, Rizid or uh, Ridicid. They, they, they want to they want me to research that research that shit? No way, Jose! Rude scientists have been rescued. Well, you definitely are a very rude person. Alright, let's keep moving forward here. Ooh, treasure. Okay, let's see what's inside of this. Okay, healing out of four. Nice. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Is there uh, another kitten up here? Alright, a dirty black cat has been rescued. 
That makes four. Sheesh, all this trouble just for some stupid little cats. Get back to Noden so you can make your, your cat cafe or cat ear cafe or whatever. Don't tempt me, I may make the cat ear cafe first. Don't give me that face, a cat ear cafe is not a good idea. Look, don't do it, okay? No means no, but but knowing you guys just might still make it happen. Oh please, Nagamimi, you may want you may want, you know, to show up with your own little cat ears on. Anyway, let's continue upward through here. Cause there's one person left. Uh let's see, there you are. Wow, I'm surprised you found me. Even my friends tell me I barely have any presents. Inconspicuous man has been rescued. Alright, so that's all everyone rescued. So let's head back to Nodens and build that cat cafe. Ooh, treasure. Nano find times three. Okay, I can live with that. So let's keep going up through here. I think actually the exit is right over here. Yes, it is. Alright, let's head back to Nodens and build that cafe. Alright, to the conference floor. And I think the cat cafe is only like 7 DZ or whatever. We have plenty of DZ to build stuff. Alright, cat cafe is going to be 5. Okay, that's even better. Build construction. Nodens is quickly becoming the last <laughs> frontier for relaxation. Hardy har har. Now under construction. Construction has been completed of the cat cafe level 1. All the cute little kitties. Construction is now complete. I from Meowdens would like to say would like, like to say thank you. So please go see her. Well done. Now you can rescue even more lost cats. It'll be really helpful to, to help to calm our workers down too. So you'll be killing two birds with one stone. Oh right, a guy from ISCF brought Mio's cat over too. You're in 13. Go tell Mio. I'm sure she'll be thrilled. Alright, cool. So let's go over and see Mio and tell her the good news about, well, about her cat being able to stay here. So to the medical floor. Alright, and also should mention Meowdens is actually right here. Yep, it's called Meowdens. So let's talk to this person right here. You, your dreamlike spot for healing and relaxation, the Cat Cafe Meowdens is now open. Says the Meowniger, I. Here you can use cat food to help bring up, up about a moment of perfection, perfect relaxation. Playing with, with the paw some cats can really heal, can fully restore your life and mana. Plus, you'll even get skill points from the cat's power. Then, if you upgrade the cat later, oh well, I'll leave it as, as a per as a per prize for now. This isn't anything major, but please accept it, accept it as a gift of, of appreciation from the cats. Okay, got some cat food. Please stop by anytime you like you like to. I'll be waiting for you. Meow. Or Nya, Nya, whatever it is. I should don't, don't even know why I did that. Welcome to Meowdens. You can use the cat food here to help bring us uh, a moment of perfect relaxation. I'll use a cat food, sure. And by doing that, we have a lovely tea time with all the cats. You feel as the stress of your daily life melts away as you spend time with the cats. All right, cool. And 300 SP has been awarded. Awesome. All right, well that's been that's been fun here. M Unit thirteen, <laughs> got a nice lovely day at the at the Me Meowdens Cafe. So let's go tell Mio the good news, and we'll call it a day there. Hello, Mio. I see Ichirio caused quite a, quite a fuss. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention Ichirio is my cat's name. Ichiro. Okay. Y you know how many how many uh, you know how my name ends in in O? It's like a zero. And that's what that's what comes to, and what comes after zero one, one in Japanese is Ichi, so I named him Ichirio. Okay, Ichirio. Yep, that's like a little little brother to me. But Mio, you know, our characters are in Japan. Why would you tell us this? Thank you so much for doing all this for me. I'll need to make sure I thank Miss Ali later. Pardon the intrusion. Yuma, what are you doing here? Didn't you hear? Admiral Yoritomo requested I bring the cat over from the, from the, from the Nagumu, Nag, Nagumo residence. You got Ichirio for, for me? He didn't seem very comfortable at first, but now he's quite happy in the cat cafe. You should go visit him once your condition is stable. I will, thank you. But why is Mr. Yoritomo being so helpful? It seems Professor Nagumo and the Admiral go quite far back. He's friends with my grandpa? I would be, re I would be revealing classified information if I was to speak any further on the matter. I suggest you talk to him if you want to know more. Anyways, it's time for me to take my leave. See you. Hmm. 
Ah, a lot of people really help me. I hope I get better quickly, quickly so I can pl uh, pay everyone back. Okay, you'll be you'll be cured soon. But Gamma, modern science doesn't have an answer for dragon sickness. You can't sleep and so it's progress, but there's no cure. <sighs> oh, my symptoms are still minor, though. Nothing drastic is going to happen anytime soon. They told me I can go back to living a normal lifestyle, at, at least for now. Well, that's good to hear. You know, Gamma, ever since I learned I was sick, I thought there was no hope. But now that, but now that I know how much time I have, I want to use that, use that time to help, pe people, help people however I can. So I'm going to work as hard as I can as your navigator. Alright, awesome. Thank you. Okay, I'll get better quickly. Oh, and Gamma? This is a thank you. Oh, cool. A Venom cut. Nice. And some meal-made cookies. And a cat pendant. It's kind of childish, but it's a good luck charm I've had ever since I was a kid. Also, once I'm better, um, do you think we can continue our date? Of course. I'm so glad. Thank you. My first ever date. I, I, I can't just let it end like this. Alright, it's a promise. Alright, and the quest has been completed. So, I think that'll do it for now. Next time on Let's Play 7th Dragon 3 Code VFD, we'll be going back to the, the quest counter and filling out more quests so we can move on into the main story. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below and what you guys think of the series so far. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes in this series. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off.